Now children, we will be following few sums, okay, few patterns of sums which will be covering the topic calendar. So, are you all ready? Okay. So, here is your first sum, okay. So, your first question is, tell me which is the first day of the week, okay. And your options are Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. the days of the week, right? Starting from Sunday to Saturday. And my question asks, what is the first day of the week? So, you know very well that what is the first day? Yes, it is Sunday. So, my right option is option A. Shall we do some more? Okay. My next question is, which is the fourth day of the week. And my options are Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So, you have to tell me which is the fourth day of the week. So, is it Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday or Saturday? So, shall we count? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So, which is the fourth day? It is Wednesday. And where can you see Wednesday here? Yes, it is option C which is Wednesday. Okay? The next question for you is, which day comes in between Thursday and Saturday? Okay, and your options are Monday. Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Okay. So, it asks which day is coming between Thursday and Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So, what, which day came between Thursday and Saturday? Good, it is Friday. Okay. Your next question is, which days come in between Wednesday and Saturday. Okay. And your options are Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday. And all of these. So, which days come in between Wednesday and Saturday? Shall we count? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 
So, which is the right option among the given ones? Good, it is option B which is Thursday and Friday. Okay? So, here is my next question. Which is the second day of the week? Okay? And my options are Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So you have to tell me which is the second day of the week. Starting from Sunday, it is Monday. Option A is the right answer. So, it is quite easy, right? Shall I give you some tricky questions? Okay. So, be ready for few tricky questions now. Okay. Shall we begin? Here is your question. You have to count the number of months which has thirty days. Okay? So, shall we count? So, first thing we will write down the number, the months, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. Okay? So, I have written the 12 months on the board. So, let us write which month has got how many days. Okay? Starting from January. How many days January has? Yes, it has got 31 days. February? It has either 28 or 29 days. March? March has got 31 days. How about April? April has got 30 days. May? 31. June? 30. July, good, 31, August, 31, September, yes, 30, October, 31, November, 30, December, 31. My question asks, count the number of months which has 30 days. So, shall we count? It's 1, April 1, then June 2, then September 3 and November 4. So, my answer is 4 months. Okay? Now, my next question is, how many months have 31 days. Shall we count? 1, then 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So how many months children? Good. 7 months. So, 7 months have 31 days. Okay? Okay. So, here is your tricky question. Name a month which neither has 31 or 
30 days. So you have to name a month which has neither 31 days nor 30 days. So which is the month among them? Just see. Yes, it is the month of February. So your answer is February. Okay? So good. Now, I give you one more tricky question. You have to tell me total number of days in December and January. So how many days December has? It has 31 days. How many days January has? Good. It has also got 31 days. So what is the total? It is 62 days. So what is the total number of days? In December and January? Yes, it is 62 days. Okay? You have one more. Tell me the total number of days in February and March. Okay, so I assume February to be a normal year, not a leap year. So how many days February has? February has 28 days. And how many days March has? 31. Okay, so I have total of 8 plus 1, 9. And 2 plus 3, 5. So I have total of 59 days in total. Okay. And suppose if it is a leap year, then it will be 29 plus 31, which will be one day greater than this, which is nothing but 60 days. Okay, children? So, are you clear with this pattern of questions? Shall we do some different pattern? Yes. 